Good morning, guys. I wanted to share a little something with you today. And I just want to say on this Friday that it's so much good around us and it's so difficult for us to tap into the good because we're distracted by something that opposes it. But I want to encourage you to just put it on today. Put it on today. And on this Friday, I want to talk about the secret binding adhesive. Or if we go a little bit further, it's the secret binding agent that sees all good. It sees what you are, what you need, and what you want. So I want to encourage you to just put it on. Good morning, I'm Shonda, and I am your self-development uh, coach and spiritual mentor. And of course, I inspire nations to grow. So if you're new today, I want to welcome you. And if you always turn on, mm you know I love you. Now, I want to encourage all of you guys to make sure that you hit that like button and the bell notification so that we can let YouTube know that this positive community is here because my whole thing is to raise the level of frequency on the planet and awaken you in your consciousness. Well, you know, on this Friday today, I want to talk about, you know, it's just so good. It's just so much good around us, but for whatever reason, we can't see it. It may be, you know, we put up with so much or we go through so much in our lives and it's all a part of just a human experience, but that becomes a distraction. And so every, you know, morning, I begin my morning, I layer things onto it. You know, I don't know how many of you like appetizers if you dine out uh, for those that are able to dine out. And then after you have an appetizer, then it's like the main course. And then sometimes we have like dessert. Well, my appetizer in the morning time is just meditations layered on with prayer. So it's like a meditative state to where I'm able to align myself with God. And that's the appetizer. And then the dinner portion is what I feed myself afterwards. And of course, I have a mission statement I've shared with you guys before, but I always get something from a spiritual teacher from the Bible, from a great, you know, teacher that I, I began to feed my spirit with. And so today I want to take you just real quick over to Colossians 3, 12 through 14. And it states to put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another. And if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive and above all these, now this is the secret binding agent right here. Above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. See, a lot of you today are worried. A lot of you may be stressed today. A lot of you have so much good in front of you that you totally ignore that good thing. A lot of you have so much talent, have yet to really tap into the oil that will give you gladness in your life. Because for whatever reason, when our mind is not trained, it's not in alignment with that infinite intelligence. It's not aligned with God. See, when you align with love, you raise your level of frequency where nothing around you can hurt or harm you. When you surround yourself with love, then you begin to reflect the creator. He begins to unravel the pieces of your mind that has been tangled in knots your entire life. And as you level up in love, 
everything that's unlike love begins to fall completely away from you. All the stress, all of the fear, the hatred, the poverty, the lack, the depression, not being worthy enough, not feeling good enough, all of those things begin to fall away. And then you enter into a space of this purified stillness to where you radiate love. You bask in it. You, you, you lie with it. And every day before you do anything else, you put love on. You put it on. You put it on when you wake up and you have a still moment to just get in the presence of our creator. To be quiet and just listen to him speak to the subconscious part of your mind and to the depths of your soul. You put love on when you can begin to just meditate in his presence. When you begin to just commune with him, converse with him. You put love on when you equip yourself to battle with yourself so that you can stay in love. You put love on when you read things to improve your mind, to improve your spirit, and to improve your soul. You put love on by affirming what you know that your life is set up to be, regardless to what is reflected in the opposing position. You're able to stand steadfast by putting on love. You're able to put this love on without judging people, but really see the significance in every person. And as you put love on today, allow that love to just penetrate you in every way, to connect you with the love above, to surround you with a loving barrier and protection, but more so loving experiences so that you can reflect that love to someone else. I love you guys and I want you to know that you are truly amazing. And into the next video. Peace. Bye now.